Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Gregory Martin, AKA the Super Producer, and we're back with another review. Now, before we get into the review, please don't forget to smash that like button, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. It keeps you notified whenever I post a new video, and it also helps the channel grow. And with that being said, let's just jump right into today's review. And today we're reviewing the documentary, Yusuf Hawkins, Storm Over Brooklyn. This is a documentary that came to my attention over the past couple of weeks. I kept hearing about it on different radio shows. Uh, I, I saw articles and even one of my uh, favorite podcasts that actually referenced this documentary. Now I am um, and was familiar with the name Yusuf Hawkins, but unfortunately I wasn't aware of a lot of the details behind this story. But after watching this documentary, I'm so glad that this story is being told because I think it's important that incidents like this are not forgotten in, in our society. I had a difficult time coming up with a way to, to properly review this documentary and really discuss the subject matter. So for this video, I'm, I'm foregoing my typical uh, you know, review style for this video and really just want to share with you guys some things that really struck me from watching this. I think that would be a much better way for me to really get into, you know, um, this, this documentary. I, I think my, my feelings would, would be a better serve than, you know, going through a critiquing the actual, you know, documentary from a, you know, filmmaking standpoint or anything like that. But if you do want to learn about Yusuf's story, I implore you to, to definitely watch this documentary. Now for myself, I was not too familiar with this story. Um, yes, I've heard the name, but I don't remember the details of the story, mainly because I was very young when this happened. Uh, this happened in the, the late 80s. I was still, you know, in like elementary school. So for me, and people like me, the filmmakers did a really great job of setting the atmosphere and, and really taking us into what New York City was like at that time. For one, I didn't realize that New York City was going through all this racial tension at this time. And watching the documentary, I saw that they referenced the Central Park Five. You know, that incident happened only you know, that happened like maybe what, four four months later, you know, or, or actually happened four months earlier than, you know, the Yusuf Hawkins uh, incident, which was just crazy to me to, to see that. But, you know, it's not too crazy because that's the type of things that just happen in America, uh, it, it, it just seems like. In quick summary for those who don't know what the Yusuf Hawkins story is, Yusuf Hawkins was a teenager who was shot and killed by a mob of Italian men, all because they were black kids in a predominantly white neighborhood. Two things immediately stuck out to me after watching this uh, documentary. At the end of the movie, there is this scene where the family and friends are have gotten together with the filmmakers to take uh, photos in front of this uh, mural of Yusuf. You know, I just said to myself that that mural looks so familiar to me. That mural looks like the one that I used to pass every day on my way to the train, you know, on my way to work. And I just always wondered, you know, like who is this person on this mural because right across the street from that mural there is another mural with other just black legends you know i recall there being uh, michael jackson i want to say jackie robinson uh richard pryor is on there i believe james brown um and like a, a bunch of other like you know massively influential uh, black people and I just never put it together that you know this guy was of you know any importance because I just I just couldn't you know readily recognize who he was and after watching this documentary I felt very small after knowing that 
that was Yusuf. This that this mural was of Yusuf. I always said to myself, I need to find out who this guy is because there's a reason why he's you know he's on this wall. But I felt really bad that it took a damn movie um, for me to really pay attention and, and and like really like bring it full circle for me. It just really hit me with like a, a dose of like reality. The second thing is coming up. I recall really not liking or trusting some of our, you know, our black leaders. Um, uh, more specifically, uh, Reverend Al Jackson, sorry, Reverend Al Sharpton and uh, Jesse Jackson. I think part of that was because I was so heavily in the church and, you know, for me, I was just a really rebellious kid at that time. Like religion was just not uh, one of these things that I really gravitated to. So that may have been me lashing out, just that resentment. And then secondly, I always remember or always recalled as a kid, just wondering why these men were like chosen to be like, you know, they, they almost seem like the mouthpieces for the black community. And I, and I just didn't understand that at the time. But after watching this documentary, I have to commend uh, uh, Rev Al Sharpton for for really bringing a a light to what happened to Yusuf. He was championing justice for the family, justice for Yusuf, and, and really just bringing awareness on a national level of what is still going on in America. Like in the documentary, and, and this really said a lot, there, there was this uh, this white guy. I, mean, I don't recall if he was like one of the subjects that they were interviewing, or it was just like some stock footage. But uh, the gist of what the what the guy was saying was that Reverend Sharpton, uh, really bringing a uh, shining a light to what was going on, was making things worse, and that he should stop. And what really blew my mind was that he had the uh, audacity to say that that race had nothing to do with it. Like, it wasn't a black and white thing. And when he said that, I'm just like, dude, what the f are you looking at, fam? I mean, it's, it's so clear that it was a black and white thing. Like, like, I don't understand, like, what was shown and said in the documentary could not make you think otherwise. Like, maybe if we sidestep this, we can miraculously think that this is all just gonna go away. Like, how American is that? It's crazy that people thought like that you know, 30 years ago, and people are still saying the same things, but the same things are happening and probably have never stopped happening for those for the past 30 years. You know, it's, it's just crazy that, you know, that statement was made. But to get back on track, I know I've been critical of, uh, of Rev Al Sharpton, you know, you know, from, from, my, from my youth. He, he showed really great leadership and, and doing what he did and, and fighting for the family. Whether his activism was done for him to gain notoriety or, or, or fame or whatever, you know, I don't know, I can't speak to that. But I don't think there are many activists who are willing to take a knife to the chest, you know, just for the look. Those are the things that really stuck out to me just immediately after watching. There's a, there's a lot to digest. And you know, there's, I mean, this video could be, you know, 15, 20 minutes long. I've seen there's been a lot of like backlash already. Um, there was a guy who used to work at Hot 97 who was in, involved in the, the uh, he was involved in the mob and, and, and inciting the, you know, the mob uh, to congregate. So basically what I got out of this was a very uh, enlightening uh, moment. Now I know the story and I will definitely take that with me. But yeah, that's, that's, that is my, you know, review. I, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, if you've seen the documentary, uh, please tell me down below uh, your thoughts on the, uh, on the documentary. What, what came to your mind, you know, if you knew the story or just learning about the story. Uh, now, as always, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys on the next one.